Canaries is just a few miles away from Soufre, a must stop for visitors to the island. And to the north and south of Canaries are dive sites and popular stops for yachts. So why isn't Canaries benefiting more from the tourism industry? We'll explore this issue and others within this segment. Um, the village itself will be an attraction to the tourists because the village is almost unspoiled and people want to walk through the village and then see what the village has to offer. So village life is the, 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 the best or the only attraction that we have that tourists can really come apart from the waterfall. It's a traditional village. One might say it's quaint, but it is safe. The people are friendly, but for some reason, Canaries had been called a forgotten village. It would appear that it has been forgotten really in terms of development. And so, back in 1986, I developed a brochure called Discover Canaries, because I noticed all the tourists were just heading straight. They were not even passing in the village. And so, the idea was to try and get some tourist, tourism activity, community tourism, because it's the only means of sustenance. There is no other form of economic activities or development in the community. We were in the community on Saturday and we filmed quite a number of tourist buses and um, tourist taxis and uh, passing right through the community. They just came out of the top of the hill, took a couple of pictures and they drove right through. What can be done, and you mentioned economic activity, what can be done, what should be done to, to help keep some of that tourist dollar in Canaries? Because we didn't see them spending any money. That's right. They just drove by. I'm not sure what the state of the waterfall is right now, which was a, an, mm -hmm. one of your attractions. But what do you think can be considered, and the community needs to dis discuss, to help some of that tourist dollar, at least for the time being, remain in the community? Well, one of the things we're actively considering and we're working on now is the development of a community tourism product. Um, you may have seen the old church next to the square. That was recently refurbished about a year ago. Um, and the, the intention is to use this as an interpretation center. So we set up a mini museum in there where persons can go and learn about the history of canneries and, and, and so on. And that will be the central point that we're hoping to develop other attractions, for example, like the waterfall, um, the beach, having the tourists go out and see what the fishermen are doing, how people leave and so on. But basically we're just trying now to put together that that product. We're in, in discussions with the Ministry of Tourism as well as the Ministry of Social Transformation and trying to get this together. How much of a potential is the jersey? If it is repaired and um, create the necessary push advertisement to have boats come in here and get in tours or even people from Martinique, I think it would work very well. Again, I said we got the jetty, but there weren't any follow up. So currently, of what use is the jetty? Um, do we have boats, uh, maybe detours, tourist detours coming through, visiting the jetty? Or who uses the jetty apart from the fishermen? Well, there is no detours coming because of the, the condition of the jetty. There is no detours. And of course, we were trying to see how much we could have used the jetty uh, in terms of, of, of uh, um, bringing um, catamarans or to, or tours, uh, uh, organized tours by sea, that is still in the making. When the fishing boat come, we can hardly get our fish on the jetty to bring it ashore. If the, if the weather is bad or the sea is rough, we have a problem. But evidently you were there when the fishing boat, the first one came, and uh, they are fiberglass. You can't push it ashore. If you start pushing them ashore, then underneath it will be started rotten or coming out, and then you have a problem. So we always have to leave it on the sea. It was, it was built, but it was not taken over by the right authorities. Later I found out it should have been taken over by the village council or seaport authorities. So we could have had, you know, security guards and when persons come ashore, get some money. I'm not even sure if there is enough what you call moorings so the boats can anchor and all of these things. These issues were not addressed. As I said before, it was one thing, we got the jetty, we were thankful, but the, the right authorities, the persons who should have been looking and ensuring that it worked for us, was lacking. When the fishing boat come, we can hardly get our fish on the jetty to bring it ashore. If the, if the weather is bad or the sea is rough, 
we have a problem. But evidently you were there when the fishing boat, the first one came, and uh, they are fiberglass. You can't push it ashore. If you start pushing them ashore, then underneath it will be started rotten or coming out, and then you have a problem. So we always have to leave it on the sea. Now, the waterfall that you mentioned, and it was, we, we've heard quite a bit about the waterfall. I've tried to reach it a couple of times, I haven't quite made it yet. Um, because I think it was damaged probably the last time by Thomas right, and so on. Thomas, yeah. What state is it in and is there a real possibility of it getting back as an attraction for canneries? There is a possibility, yes. I mean, I know it was damaged during Thomas. I'm not sure how extensive the damage was this time around, mm -hmm. but I know it was damaged. But the roads as well is another issue. The road to get to the waterfall is, is also an issue. We are hoping that, that for this year up to um, the next tourist season, that would have the, the, the old church would have been where at least tourists would have come in. Cannabel is there, the soap making process, uh, and then have some cultural activity, whether dancing, the quadrille, or what's all the laros, the la marguerite, and to see that tourists come there and the the sea and the what the what the village really have to offer. <laughs> This is Calabash Community with a focus on canneries. Our conversations will continue in a few moments.